Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create get task by user ID API for the employer role in the Spring Boot application. So let's get started. First of all, let's go to JWT Util class. Inside this, I'm going to create a method where we will get the logged in user. So the method will be a public and the return type that is a user. Name of the method that is a get logged in user. Let me import the user from the entities package. Inside this, I'm going to call a method from the security context holder. That is a get context, get authentication. Here I'm going to create an object of the authentication where we have to save the response of this. After this, I'm going to add here the condition where we have to check if the authentication not is equals to null and authentication dot is authenticated. Then we have to get the principle from the authentication. So it will be authentication dot get principle. Let me get here the object of the user. Cast expression to the user entity. Let me inject the user repository in the JWT util class. So it will be a private final user repository. On the top of this class, I'm going to add here the notation that is the at the rate required ARGS constructor to create the constructors of the dependency injection. So I'm going to call here the query from the user repository that is a find by ID that is a user dot get ID. And here I'm going to create an object of the optional user. So it will be a optional user. After fetching the user from the database, I'm going to return here the optional user. And here's the or else condition where we have to return the null in case if the optional user is empty. Outside of if, I'm going to return here the null. So this method will retrieve the currently logged in user from the Spring Security context. Fetch the corresponding user object from the database and return it. If no user is logged in or if the user is not found in the database, it will return null. After creating the get logged in user method, I'm going to create a new package inside the services package with the name employ. Inside this, I'm going to create a new interface with the name employ service. With the service, I'm going to create the class that is a employ service simple. Let me implement this class with the employ service. On the top of this class, I'm going to add here the notation that is the at the rate service. And the second notation we have that is the at the rate required ARGS constructor. Inside this, I'm going to inject here the task repository. Let's go to the employee service. Inside this interface, I'm going to create a method with the name get tasks by user ID. It will return a list of task DTU. Let me import the list from the java.util. Let's go to employee service impl. Let me implement the method that is a get tasks by user ID with the task repository. I'm going to inject here JWT util class. Inside this, I'm going to call the method from the JWT util that is a get logged in user. And here I'm going to create an object of the user to save the response of the get logged in user method. After getting the user, I'm going to add here this condition where we have to check if the user not is equals to null. Then we have to get the task by the user ID from the database. Otherwise, we will return here the entity not found exception. So it will be a new entity not found exception with the message user not found. And it will be a row. Inside the if condition, I'm going to write here the logic to get the task by user ID on the database. So let me call here the task repository and the query that is a find all by user ID. Inside the argument of this, we have to pass here the user ID that we will get from the user object that is a user dot get ID. Let me create this method inside the task repository and it will return a list of tasks. And it will be a dot stream dot sorted. We have to send the task in the descending order. So it will be a comparator dot comparing where first we have to give the entity and second we have to give the get due date and it will be a dot reverse dot map where first we have to pass task entity and second we have to pass here the method name that is a get task DTO. This method will convert the entity to the DTO and it will be a dot collect that is a collector dot to list. 
let's go to the controllers package and here i'm going to create a new package with the name employee inside this i'm going to create here the class with the name employee controller on the top of this class, I'm going to add the annotation that is at the rate rest controller to make this class as a controller. After this, we have a second annotation that is at the rate request mapping. So the base URL of our employee controller that is a slash API slash employee. And the third annotation we have that is at the rate required ERGS constructor. Inside this class, I'm going to inject here the employee service. So it will be a private final employee service. After this, I'm going to create a method to call the method from the employee service. So it will be a public return type that is the type of a response entity. And we will expect a list of a task DTO from this endpoint. Name of the method that is a get tasks by user ID. Let me add here the response entity dot. Okay. Inside this, we have to call the method from the employee service that is a get task by user ID. And it will be a return. On the top of this method, I'm going to add here the notation that is at the rate get mapping. Where the URL of this endpoint that is a slash tasks. And let's on the Spring Boot application. As you can see, the Spring Boot application started successfully. Let's navigate to the Postman and let's test the API. You can see the URL of the get task by user ID endpoint. That is a slash API slash employee slash tasks. Mapping it will be a get. Let's click on the authorization tab. Select the barrier token from the drop down. And here I'm going to going to add the token of the logged in employee. Let's navigate to the browser. Let me get the token of the logged in employee. Let me paste inside this input. Click on the send button. As you can see, the status we got 200 OK. And inside the body, we are getting here the tasks by user ID with the employee ID 10. As you can see here, the employee ID that is a 10 and the role that is an employee. Let me log in here, another employee. Let me get the token. Let me paste inside the input of the barrier token. Click on the send button. And you can see the status we got. 200 okay and inside the body we are getting at the tasks by user id as you can see the employee id that is a nine you can verify the employee id as well as you can see the employee id that is a nine and the role employee so that's all for now from my side if you have any confusion you can do comment thanks for watching take care bye